Good morning, welcome back to Leicester TMD and Station. Um, just a quick update what's happening. Yes, I've been very awfully quiet over the past few months. The reason for that, obviously, the weather's took a turn. We've got the warm weather, so I tend to not get up here as much because the ventilation in the attic is um, quite minimum. Apart from pulling my fan on it, it just gets too bearable up here. Um, so really it's just a quick update, just let you know I'm still going, there will be still contents coming onto my channel um, later on this year. Um, first we've got two holidays just to get out of the way first and hopefully by October, October time, September, hopefully I'll be pulling more time and effort into the layout. I am working on something at the minute which I might take you across there and give you a quick glimpse of what I'm doing. Um, a few of you may know it was my birthday last Monday I think it was the 4th of July um, one of my good friends that I've known now for a fair few years now and tried to support him and that like get his company name out and that and that's um, Chris Bow at um, Western Wagon Works. Now he sent me a, um, a voucher to use for my birthday as a birthday present to spend at Rails of Sheffield. Um, <coughs> just want to say a big thank you to him and thank you. You didn't have to do that, but you have and much appreciate it. Um, and yes, unfortunately, I didn't get anything exciting, just for a um, few bits and bobs for. Um, the future um, work that's getting done on the layout. Um, first of all, I purchase a um, track rubber just to get into cleaning the tracks where I um, can't get my hands into, and just the slight little marks. And also, um, I've got the new solder iron, which I'm going to need for what I'm working over my right shoulder I'll take you over and let you have a look what I'm trying to do and also I did get a wheel cleaner now I, I can't can't fault these I think these are probably the best um, wheel cleaners that you can get on the market as it stands yeah it's bristles, brush bristles and that, like I put over a period of time they will wear down and you probably end up getting a new one but that's loads better than the one that I had previously over a year ago which just bear me with one sec I did have one of these tidy trucks which to me wasted more now, I wish I never went out and um, got it but I did at the time and it's not that great so that's a few of the purchases that I've done, obviously with the voucher that Chris Bow at Western Wagon Works um, sent over to me. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I've got me holidays to sort out. I've got a couple of holidays, like I said previously. I'll get them out of the way and hopefully more work will commence on the layer. Now, at a minute, as it sounds, I'm working on a bit, a bit that I'll show you in a minute over me right hand shoulder. Um, but I'm in two minds whether towards the end of the year do a bit of um, gardening in my back garden and thinking about going down the route of having a, a big shed in the garden. Um, yes, I'll have, have the same problems as I do in the attic, but the thing is if you've got a shed in your back garden, you can always leave the door open. And I suppose if you insulate it out properly, it should be all good. But any time, time will tell and I'll see when and um, that decision comes to make because um, obviously in the, in the attic yeah it's going to be a lot more to move out especially considering I'm working on a bit over my right side um, and I've got the fiddle yard at the back of me to sort out which I ain't even touched for months now a um, few alterations just over here in the foreground where the main lines are running at the minute I want to do some alterations there um, and yeah, so I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to take you over to what I'm working on and we'll see if the layout will end up staying in the um, loft and if I can somehow 
kit the loft out to keep the temperatures down in the summer but we'll see but i'm going to take you over to the right hand side now and show you what i'm working on hopefully it'll be a good scenic break and i'll get some good um pictures some good um, video footage as well over on this bit but i'll take you over there now and i'll let you have a look just bear with me one sec Right, here we are, back over the right hand side from where I was speaking you f to from. Uh, this is what I'm trying to do at the minute. It's what I'm working on. Now I've dropped the boards. I don't know if I'll be able to pan you around. Um, just pinch them up just there. Now you can see the main lines, three, um, two of the main lines where the tracks are just overhanging. What I'm trying to do is put a bridge across here. This bridge in front of you now, that ain't the final product. I'm um, making my own and, and drop the board then join back up over to the main lines over there. And like I say, I'm working on this when I can, obviously not at the minute because we've got other things to be getting on with. Um, so I just thought I'll take a quick five minutes or so up here to explain, let all my YouTube um, subscribers know what's going on with um, Leicester Station and TMD. So this is what I'm basically working on. Um, this could be a bridge section here, uh, maybe somewhere around about here, this middle section. This is just a mock-up. This is just just a bridge that I knocked up at work, and um, yeah, it ain't gonna be the finish um, final product. It's a bit too chunky, but I've got some boards that I want to do this now. I've got to sort out a kit to put a road bridge. Just like I say, round about here where this um, middle entrance is. And hopefully it'll just look like there's a road going there, coming out. It may even go down to this end of the layout and have a bit of vanilla to get into the um, the TMD yard as a car park over here or something. I ain't too sure. Or it just might be a bridge put in and embankment. Um, be interested to see what you guys think what would be the best try and get a road in this sort of area and I mean preferably I did want a road coming from the center there and going left and right one up to the TMD and if I pan you around this way one to the, the fiddle yard this this area I'm just hold to the camera this area just here um, Obviously, start with video. There's hopefully going to be a porter cabin and something in there, and um, probably a few locomotives stored up this here, just rested. There'll be porter cabins and stuff, but not too much scenery is going on in this if it stays in the attic. Um, like I say, I'm just in two minds what to do whether to move it, look out of um, getting a bigger shed to take it out into the garden, but we'll have to see. Um, ain't notes 100 percent yeah it's just i'm just um toying with the idea so i'll know more towards about september october this year um but hopefully from them hopefully um progress will more or less be starting like i said i've got scenic as soon as this is all done i want to do the scenic break um i need to get the running lines and alterations that I want to do over the far side there where the main lines come around that might be altered into a, a four way track going into the station then go into three or four and then come out the station probably in a two or a three track I ain't decided yet but we'll just have to see so really that's about it for the update um, like I say it's just more of an update to keep you all informed what i planning on to be doing sorry for the lack of um, uploads and updates on the layout but obviously it's just too warm in my work at the minute I'm just lucky enough to get a few extra hours in that's uh, one thing I didn't realize um, this year would happen where I was working last year and the year before 50 to 55 hours it's literally we're more or less working on bare minimum so but that's part and parcel of the way to with energy bills and everything else going up um, it's understandable from a business mind of view um, when you're trying to run a big factory and um, obviously it's not cost effective to do them extra hours when you cover the cost of your energy bills but hey ho so basically I'll just all being well hopefully I'll just carry on doing what we're doing try and get as many hours in the can as at work and um, obviously like I say get October out of the way because that's me family holiday October time and um 
hopefully start saving up towards Christmas time and hopefully it'll all being well be doing more bits and bobs to delay out like I say I've got loads got visions in my head that I just need to put down on the layout and they say if it does tend to move out the um, attic and do go into a shed there'll be a massive update I'll let you all got all you guys know so um, take care look after each other and be safe and happy modeling um, and I'll see you uh, if any of it oh sorry yeah before I go if there's anybody going to the DEM show sorry DEMU show <clears throat> um, I'm hopefully, hopefully able well I'm trying to get myself sorted so I can be attending that show and then after that show for me as things stand now it'll probably be the NEC burning gun one um, unfortunately I ain't got out as much as I wanted to just obviously due to finances um, work situation but it is what it is at the end of the day so the DEMU show I'll be there all being well fingers crossed yeah so for any of you that are trying yourselves to t attend the diesel electric multiple unit show um, fingers crossed hopefully I will be there and attending I might be with my brother as well but is uh, one certain person if I do manage to attend I need to um, get to see so um, if anyone is there um, just come over and say hello have a drink meet up drink or something uh, probably majority of the time um, one trying to get as much um, filming of the layouts and that lot like, I will be nipping over to West Hill Wagon Works and hopefully be picking up a few bargains from any of the trade stands there so um, I'm going to leave it at that and call it a day hopefully all you guys enjoyed this um, video and just bear with me like I say unfortunately the layout where it's situated it's just hard to work around it obviously with the blazing heat that we're having but like I say towards the end of the year there'll be more updates and more frequent updates so take care all happy modelling Hopefully get to see all soon at any of the shows that I'll be attending to towards the end of the year. So take care. This is Garrett saying thanks for your support and all your subscribers, new subscribers and that lot. Um, hopefully you'll stick with me for future plans of the layout. So catch you all soon. Tada! Bye.